Good morning. It's 11.34 a.m. and so it's still technically morning on Saturday, September 12, 2015. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. This is five more minutes. Kind of startled myself where that energy came from. Um, I am still a little bit loopy. I needed to catch up on sleep. Um, but I did also really just get up. And it was actually almost supernaturally weird that uh, I had slept in and then uh, I, f I finally kind of opened my eyes and sit up and I am just reaching for my phone and it rings. Um, and it was just the pharmacy telling me my refills were ready. But um, just the weirdness of having it ring right after I woke up naturally. I don't know. Uh, so I need to rest and recuperate this weekend. I, you know, in addition to, you know, having to work a bunch of last weekend, just having kind of a, an intense week. So I'm looking forward to resting a little bit, although I've let my, my apartment get a little messy. It's not visible from this little window that you have here, but uh, I need to do better. Um, there's also, I'm going to try to uh, watch a couple of um, old movies that I'm planning to discuss on a podcast, not even one of my podcasts, but a podcast with someone else that I'll tell you guys more about when it is likely to happen. Um, and, uh, Oh, God, what else? Um, I continue to just want to play Metal Gear Solid Five all the time. Um, I, w I guess maybe I'll weigh in just a little bit on... There's definitely a couple of articles going around right now talking about one of the characters from that game uh, named Quiet, who is very scantily dressed. And... Uh, so in particular, there was an article like on Kotaku that was talking about, oh, they have the dumbest reason for why she's scantily dressed. Here's my take on it. Now, bear in mind, I'm not finished with the story. I'm not really even close. I think I'm probably maybe, maybe a third of the way. It's hard to tell with this game because I have a percentage complete, but I'm not sure how much of that represents story missions versus... Game missions. Anyway, uh, so to start, let's just say, yes, that character and some of the way that she is presented um, in, by the camera of the game is not great. You know, from that perspective, it's definitely leering at her a little bit. Um, and we can also just say right off that, like, any story reason for it, it's like, you know what, the real reason is so that you can have a mostly naked game girl in the game. I mean, let's not mince words. Let's not, we don't need to joke about, oh, the reason they came up with is so dumb. It's more like, we all know what the reason is, okay? So they wrote a reason into the game to try to justify it. And does it justify it? Eh. The problem with the articles that I've seen like that is that at least for me, it feels like they take it all out of context. Which is not to say that I'm defending it, but just to say that the reasons uh, you know, anyone who didn't read the article, the basic reason is that she has been, like, genetically modified so she can do, like, she can photosynthesize and, like, she breathes and drinks and stuff through her skin instead of the normal way. And so she needs it exposed in order to breathe. But, see, here's the thing. <laughs> that is pretty far down the list of the weirdest thing to be going on in this game, Okay. See, that's what I think is missing in some of the discussions that I've seen, is that having played through the whole series, I, I buy that. 
that's par for the course in terms of the weird stuff that goes on in these games. And uh, so it really doesn't bother me very much. I'm not going to defend that part of the game as specifically, oh, well, there's, here's why people are wrong to think it's all about uh, being leering at a nearly naked woman. But at the same time, it just feels like such a small element in such an overall series. Now, that doesn't make it wor not worth talking about. We can point out to say, hey, here's Metal Gear Solid. It's this amazing game that is great in so many ways. However, there's these little bits that we kind of wish were better. And that's fine. But, and so I don't want to cut off anyone from having that conversation. But I want it for my preference to be kept in perspective, which is to say this is a game where all sorts of weird stuff goes on constantly. And so to jump up all up and down about how like, oh, it's such a dumb explanation. Is it? Eh. It's a weird explanation in a game with weird things and weird explanations and happening constantly. So to me, it's not a big deal. It's not my favorite part, but it's not a big deal. So um, that's my take. And I wonder how that's going to even make, I don't know if that's going to even be any coherent if someone has not been following all this. But anyway, I will talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.